So it's time to replace a toilet seat. Let me show you how to do this. I'm replacing it because we're, we've duct taped it right now and we don't want to do that anymore. So I got a Bemis right here. I got it from Home Depot. I got the Weston. It was the like second most expensive. Uh, this one was 40 bucks. There was one for 48 bucks. There's only a few parts that come with it. Two of these, two of those, and two of those. You're going to need a 13 millimeter wrench or a half inch um, wrench as well. Either one. So you'll just need one of them. And first thing we got to do is take this off. Take off the toilet seat that's currently there. Uh, we're replacing the same brand, so this is going to be pretty easy. Let me get in there. Okay, so I'm on the right side of the toilet here. You're going to want to use a wrench and twist that. Let me see if I can get a better angle. You're going to go lefty loosey. And once you break it free, it should twist loose by itself. And you'll just pull that all the way off. See that? Pull that all the way off. Do the same thing for the other side. Okay, so these are the two pieces I pulled off. Now this, you should be able to wiggle it free and it'll lift up, up and off. There's two of them. Okay, so you'll just grab the toilet seat, set it in your bathtub next to it. All right, now we're gonna start working on the new one. The first two pieces you'll need are these threaded rods. You're just gonna thread it in each one. Righty tighty till it stops. Won't go very far, but the threads will hold it tight. Make sure you don't cross thread it. Okay, get that pretty tight, hand tight. Okay. Then the next thing, you'll put these little pieces on and they'll just push straight down. One as well. All right, it's hard for me to do while holding the camera, but this just slides down. It doesn't, you don't have to twist it down on the threads. So I'll try it with this one. With just one hand here. Okay, now that you have them both on, you're gonna clean the toilet itself. Uh, you can use whatever you like. I'm just gonna use some toilet paper because it. It'll just get dirty again, but go ahead and clean that all off. It's important to keep this clean, not just so it looks good, but it'll help it the seat seat better onto the toilet. Okay, now the next thing you do is just turn upside down, put these two things through the holder. And then you want to make sure that that seats this this hinge goes flush. All right, so it looks like that. That looks good. You, you don't want it up like that. You want it flush. Now what I notice is if I'm not holding the seat up, then it's kind of pulling out a little bit like that. And then you can see the other end of the thread down there. This is where we're working next. We're going to put one of these pieces. My hand's in the way, but let me get it started for you. Put one of these pieces on here, and it's going to go righty-tighty twist that thing on and then get the other side started as well. Don't get this one all the way tight till you put both of them on. I found that if you hold the toilet seat up at about a 45 degree angle that allows you to twist this on and it keeps this really flush with the toilet. And I'm just going just barely hand tight till I get the other side on. So I'll do the other side now. Okay now that it's finger tight here looks pretty good. This is one of those soft closing ones where it just closes really soft. Now you're going to take your 13 millimeter uh, or your half inch. You're going to stick it on the end part down here, this lower part, not this upper section. You want it on this lower section, okay? Then you're going to go righty tighty, tighten it down. You're going to tighten till this piece breaks off, till this lower section right here breaks off, okay? Not touching this top part. Only touch the lower part, righty-tighty, till it breaks off. These are made to 
to break off. You heard it just crack. There we go. See, that broke off. Now do the same thing on the other side. There you have it. You want to make sure that this uh, looks good here, that it's not off to one side or something, but there you go. No, soft clothes, toilet seat, install. Pretty quick, pretty nice, not too hard. And only, you only need one tool, 13 millimeters or half inch. Thanks for watching.